I have a box of bulbs dot com so let's open it up and see what's inside I opened this uh, a couple days prior to filming this and I thought hey wouldn't it be neat to do an unboxing video so of course we open it up and you see we have these are s11 type golf ball size bulbs in a medium base of the color variety these are the opaque in orange get a two pack of them so here's what they are here they are right here I could not find these anywhere locally here so I had to order them of course so we'll test those out momentarily here and just briefly to show you here we have the same bulbs in pink, of course, opaque. And more of them. Red, of course. They are 7.5 watts each. Here's white opaque so we'll test these out shortly here in. here's clear you probably if I show it up close you can see the, the filament inside so which appears to be intact so that's good hopefully I have not tested these, so it's blue, of course, and green. They actually seem to dip those bulbs all the way down, so that's nice. All the way down to the to the base, so. Yeah, it's kind of a overlap there a little bit. So that fills it up quite nice, in quite nicely. And then, got some more bulbs. These are S14 type carnival bulbs. These are like what you would normally see on like a carnival ride or something at a fair. These are 11 watts at 130 volts incandescent of course no LEDs here are the same bulbs in white opaque three of these here's yellow in opaque and the rest are in transparent colors. Here's red. Another layer of bubble wrap. Some more in green. This is orange. clear, two pack, and blue, of course, last but not least, for the S14 ones. And then, lastly, I have these Philips compact fluorescent bulbs. They are 13 watt USA, it says Alto on the package here, so that's interesting, two pin, their bi pin for use with magnetic ballast, which we'll get to later on in the video here. Um, that'll be last, of course. I got two of these, four of these bulbs. Two of them are warm white, and two of them are cool white. 
So we'll just test these bulbs momentarily to make sure they work. And if not, I do have the receipt so I can try to hopefully send them back if I need to. Got my socket here. This is red, of course. And I'll turn out the light real quick so you can see. So that's red, of course. That's the second red one, make sure it works. Camera can't really uh, discern the color of it really well, it doesn't do it justice, but yeah, you can. Uh... So the red works. You can get a general idea of the color. There's blue. And yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice blue, like almost like a Christmas bulb sort of thing that you would see on the old uh, style, like C7 or 9 bulbs with the opaque ceramic coating. This is the second one, works. Here's white. I don't like that this one jostles around, that's a little bit alarming, but it works, incidentally, so, sweet. So I don't have to send it back. Second white one again. Here is pink, we'll test that out. And it's, yeah, it's actually a nice, like, sort of almost reddish sort of pink. It appears redder on camera probably than it re really is, but it's very nice, like, soft pink sort of glow in person. Maybe if my hand can kind of give a better representation of that. The color or the camera is not going to do this justice, of course. Obviously, here's green. Very nice. Sweet. So that works. Here is the clear ones, or the clear ones rather. And if I can like get it closer here, you can sort of see the filament inside. It's a bulb, otherwise. Yep, that works. So I believe that is it for the. Oh, and I don't think I've done the orange ones yet, have I? No, I have not. So, it's actually really orange in person. Very nice. Maybe if the, hold it down towards the bed here, you can more, maybe see more of the light output. So, that should be it for the S11 types. Now we'll do the S14. We'll start with the yellow transparent. Pretty nice. Not too, uh, not too bright. Not too dim. So you can probably focus, you can see the filament in there. Pretty nice. Um, we'll start, we'll do the clear ones next, I guess. Heck of it. 
typical warm white. Obviously the clear is going to appear brighter than the colored ones because there's no tinting to them. Next we'll do the orange or amber, I don't know, looks more amberish to me, so we'll say these are amber. Again, you can't really, you're not really going to be able to tell on camera, but this is actually a nice amber glow, I like that. So they both work there. Right, we'll do the red next. It's got some stickery crap on it. Nice. I love the red. How rich that is. The camera's just gonna wash that out, but really nice. That's really nice. Second one. Um, we'll do green next. Nice. I like the green. That's that's pretty nice. Yeah, it puts out quite a bit of heat. Yep, this one actually looks like there's a little bit of color bleed down at the bottom there. Or a bit of white bleed, rather. You can probably see the little stripe of white down there at the base. Just a little bit, not too bad. There's blue. Very nice, kind of soft. I like that, that's pretty cool. Yep. There's both the blues and then we'll do the opaque ones here. This is the first white one. Yeah, actually, pretty cool. Just kind of a nice, soft glow. So that's pretty cool. Second one. Third one. Yay. Lastly, the um, trans, no, the uh, opaque yellow ones. Very, very yellow, almost bug light-ish sort of kind of thing you would see from a bug light. Maybe if the camera can get a better... There's no real mark markings on this bulb other than on the base. Yay. So that's it for the colored bulbs. Now it gets even better. So here's my light bulbs. I have them in this placed in this uh, giant cart here in my room for the time being. So they're out of the way. So I have a whole variety of bulbs in each, each of the shelves here. A whole bunch of them. 
you can see. So, and this is like from years of building up collections. So, and over here as well, you can see I have some adapter parts and plugs and outlets and whatnot. Some more box bulbs and more down here. And right here, this is what we need to take out. I got these off of eBay. I've had these for a little over a week now, I would say. Because I knew I was going to be buying more bulbs here pretty quick. So, Sylvania. These are magnetic ballasts. Twin tube adapters for 13 watt bulbs. You can read that there. I got four of these ballasts specifically for these bulbs. So we're going to take these out and put them together here. Okay, here's everything out of the boxes. I have everything lined up here for a reason, which you'll see here in a moment. But firstly, let's just show you here real quick. Here's one of the ballasts. So, Salem, Massachusetts. 118 volts, 60 hertz, 13 watts, three, uh, 0.3 amps, GTE Products Corporation, and here we go, right here, made in USA, not even made in China. This is the, and this, this thing is the stuff right here. Couldn't tell you how much this weighs, but it's, it's gnarly, definitely. And they're all same for all the rest of them here. So, and here are the bulbs. I have them sorted by color temperature because two of them are warm white, like I said, and two are cool white. Philips made in Poland, so not the bulbs themselves are also not made in China. PLC 13 watt, 2700 kelvins for anybody who's interested. So, yeah, this is, uh, it's about to get good real, right here real quick. So, and it just snaps in like nothing. Real nice. So I'll put them all together here and we'll get them, I'll shut the lights real quick here and we'll do a quick test run of all of them here. snaps right in real nice I love it no screw around it's all plain freaking awesomeness right there so let's go ahead and shut the lights and we'll get things rolling here okay I shut the lights and uh, have everything set so we'll start with the warm white ones oh boy here we go Nice! I love it. Started started right up beautifully. I love that blink happy action at the beginning there. That was that was that was really awesome. And yeah. That is some nice light. Really nice light. No incandescent, albeit, but even so. <laughs> These are like my all-time favorite fluorescents. I mean, I have a whole bunch of stockpile of CFLs from like, you know, that are older, but they're not, they're not like these. Good grief. So... That didn't really take too long to warm up. You can probably see that. And if I shine it here, you can probably see that is some nice light. Really nice light. I unfortunately don't have a proper fixture to put these in to give a better um, representation of what it looks like. But for now, 
this will work. So that was one warm white preheat compact fluorescent CFL bulb. So here's the next one. These things actually get pretty warm. Yeah, that was nice. Really nice. I love it. Even at startup, it's it's nice and bright. I really like really like how they made these old ones like this. There, there's just nothing compared to it. It's really doesn't get any better than this. These old magnetic ballasts like this, they last forever. So, really happy I was able to get stocked up on these. So, we'll let that chooch for a minute and warm up. The camera uh, banding lines that you see in the, in the video is not present in real life. That's uh, simply an artifact of the camera's off-white balance or whatever. So, but yeah, definitely some very nice light. I love it. It's just brilliant. I love these things. And the thing just weighs a crap ton, so you just, you know you're getting quality right there. LEDs couldn't even halfway compare to these things. So, okay, so that was both the warm white CFLs. Here are the cool white ones now. I'd love to see how these look with the preheat starter ballast in them. Nice. I love how blink happy that was. That was great. Wow. I love the cool white ones. That's very, that's very nice. Nice and pure color reproduction from these cool white ones. I love it. So that's what it looks like on the bed with the cool cool white ones you can probably see. Again, you're not going to be able to really discern exactly from the video because, you know, there's just no way. But you just have to, you'd have to see these in person really to get the full effect. That's cool white. This is 4100 kelvins, if I didn't mention that already. So, it's like in between, sort of more towards daylight, not quite, you know, kind of in between warm white and daylight. So, but yeah, still definitely very nice. Nice, pure light to look under. It's, yeah. Definitely wouldn't mind using these in in my fixtures. In fact, I'm gonna try and find a use for these one day if possible, because these are awesome. So that was the cool white. One cool white, and here's the last one. Nice. That was brilliant. It went like ging 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 ging. I love it. We'll see if I can get another quick startup of that. Let that cool down for a minute. Nice. Sweet. I love it. Awesome. Yeah, I love that kind. Doesn't get any better than that. This was... The ballasts, I think, were... I don't remember how much I paid for these, but it was definitely a little... It was definitely a little bit, so... I'd have to look up and see, but... Because these I had to order online again, so. But it was definitely worth every penny. 
since you can't you cannot get anything like these today so definitely wise to stock up on these while I still can so anyway that was totally awesome oh and in case you were wondering the box for the ballast does come with instructions if you can read you can just pause to read all that I'll scroll through real quick Go. So I found a spot for these guys that's safe. So since they're heavy, so they don't break any other bulbs underneath them, I would put them with the rest of the fluorescents down here, but don't really have a space cleared out for the any of those. So for now, just up here where it's easier. So there you go. I need to make whole video series on all of these bulbs here that I have because that's a long time coming here so yeah I have a whole variety of bulbs that I gotta make a video on so there you go that's gonna do it for this one thanks for watching please hit like and subscribe and we'll see you next time